How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining. Jo blah, blah, blah. Juning. Juning? Thanks for joining me and welcome back. So today is another segment of my what I'm liking and not so much. Um, I do have to apologize because I forgot to tell you guys in my last video, I should have said that I wasn't going to have one up last week due to with the 4th of July and everything and I was going to be pretty busy. Totally forgot that. So I do apologize if you guys were wondering where I was at for that week. So yeah, that's kind of what happened and I should have told you guys and I so apologize. My bad, my fault. So, all right. But if you would like to hear and keep joining me throughout this video to hear what I'm liking and not so much, then stay tuned. Okay, so let's get into hair care. Sadly, the hair care that I'm going to show is a not so much. There's two of them here. The L'Oreal Advanced Hairstyle. This one's called Curve It Curl Taming Gel Cream. It's a 24 hour high definition gel cream. So there's this one here. And then this is the Curve It Curl Elastic Mousse. I got the mousse. I wanted to try them out because I'd seen. You know the videos about them and the TV commercials and everything. Hi, I I don't know what it is. I really don't. Um, now it says non-crunchy. I have to say, mine felt a little bit crunchy or sticky or tacky. Uh, but this is what I tried first. I tried the mousse. Um, did it like I do with all the rest of my mousses. You know, put it in my hair when my when my Hair is wet, scrunching and everything. Um, this just really didn't do too much for curls for me. It, um, very little, like just very little, not what I get with some of the other ones that are my favorites and my loves, which is Jane Carter, um, is one of them. I, I love her curl cream and her mousse. And the other one would have to be the got to be line, their curl cream and mousse. Those are my favorites and I get exceptional great curls from them. This one just gave me a little something, but nothing much. So I was just, wow, you know, then the next one I tried was the curl cream because I thought, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this curl cream a try. When I was using this curl cream and I'm sure maybe other ones do do this, maybe they do, but it felt silicone-y and I thought, I mean, like, I've had some curl creams that have maybe a little something, but this feels really silicone-y. Well, like silicone-y, is that even a word? Silicone-y word? I don't know. Somebody tell me down below. But anyway, that's what it felt like. And um, I mean, like looking on the back here, it has the word dimethicone, which we all know, or most of us know, if you don't know, dimethicone is for the, you know, the silicone. That's what's in our primers and, you know, that we put on our face before we put on our foundation makeup and everything. And it was, it's really slick, like really silicone base. Um, so I did it. I got nothing with this, nothing. And I'm wondering if that's maybe why, maybe there's too much of the dimethicone in here. I don't know. So then I did the combo of the two, a little something, but the little something I'm going to guess only came from the news because I got nothing from this. So sadly, sadly, these were just not so much of a like for me. For the shower in uh, washing, like a shower gel, washing my body off and everything, um, we sometimes find great buys on these St. Ives, which are pretty uh, 24 ounce bottles. This one's the Renew and Purify with Sea Salt Pacific uh, Kelp Exfoliating Body Wash. And then this one is Even and Bright Pink Lemon and Mandarin Exfoliating Body Wash. So these I really have liked. A couple skincare products and another not so much. <laughs> Sadly, I feel like I have several not so much as in this video, but, um, and I really like a lot of products from the Garnier line. You know that? Cause like I have talked about several that I've liked already in my videos and favorites and everything. Um, this is the Garnier Clean Makeup Removing Lotion Cleanser. So it dissolves even waterproof mascara, gently calms and comforts the skin. I honestly really like the oil so much better. I don't know. I just, I like it so much better. This, when I 
I felt like I had to put some on, work it in, had to get some more, put some more on, and it felt like it dries too fast for me. It could be me, it could be my skin, it might work for somebody else. Um, I don't know, it just wasn't working out for me. So yeah, sadly, the Garnier Clean Makeup Removing Lotion Cleanser, just not so much, it just didn't work out for me at all. So this, I got a TJ Maxx. It's the Leno Cream Soothing Face Mask with New Zealand Manuka honey enriched with hyaluronic acid, collagen, aloe vera, aloe vera don't say that right, and uh, argan oil. <laughs> Jeez, I couldn't talk there. I love getting masks at TJ, Ma TJ Maxx. Love getting masks at TJ Maxx. Sounds funny. But these are them sheet masks. Um, love sheet masks. I kind of really have fallen in love with them. really have been enjoying these. So yeah, I'm, I'm really liking these. So if you go to your TJ Maxx and you see the company Lano Cream and find any of these Manuka Honey uh, face masks, I would definitely say give them a go. It's from Bath and Body Works. It's another butter. butter. Yeah, can't talk. This is one of their body sprays. And this one's that Hello Beautiful, which I'd shown in my haul video. Hello Beautiful. And it is just, oh, it's just such a, I don't have anything on it anyway. It's just such a lovely scent. I really like it a lot. Perfect scent for right now for the summer and everything too. Just really nice. And all right, makeup. <laughs> we're, of course we're going to have makeup. Um, this is the coverall. Yeah, the coverall primer from Wet n Wild. I have to say, for $3.99, which I'm pretty sure that's what I spent for it, this is a really great primer for the price. Really great primer. One of my favorite primers is the Hangover RX from Too Faced. This is like one of my favorite primers. I mean, I'll be honest, it, it really is. Uh, this is silicone free. This one's not. This one's not silicone free. But it doesn't have that real hardcore silicone uh, feel to it, the real slickness to it or anything. So this one here I really like. I would actually almost, not a dupe, but almost compare it to that one in the fact of how it feels when I put it on my skin and the longevity of my makeup and everything. But wild, I would totally say check this one out. I love the um, primer for the eyes that has been always a favorite of mine so definitely definitely if you can check it out concealer I have been using my Maybelline fit me concealer this one's not a lighter shade this is more of like just a regular you know just to conceal under the eyes it's not an actual brightener I actually have sand sable why I ever got that shade it doesn't really make my area look too dark it kind of works for me but I probably should get a little more of a lighter shade still and then I might get one to help brighten up but I have to always say I feel Maybelline in the drugstore by far has to have the best concealers in my book because every concealer I've tried for Maybelline so far I have liked or really love and the fit me one is just no exception I love it very much so I have really been using the crap out of this thing so I'm really liking it for powders like setting powders and everything um, well this one's actually a powder foundation um, I've used it a couple times as a powder foundation and I don't mind using a powder foundation maybe if I have to quickly go out the door and just don't have time to mess around with too much stuff. Uh, this one's from Mally. It's her 4K Ultra HD Fantasy Foundation. It came in one of her today's special values not too long ago. I think it was called The Good Life. Now the only problem and only beef I had with it, it kicks up like a lot of product. I'm not sure if you can kind of see her name is on there. Her name's slowly wearing off on mine now though, but what I like about this one here, if I did have to wear a powder foundation, like on those hurry up days, it melts into my skin and looks like skin. It doesn't look like I have a bunch of cakey powder on my face. It's, it's almost like once you have you put your brush in there, put it on your skin and buff it in, it melts in. So really love this stuff. I've been using it a good bit lately. Mainly when I use it is if I'm using like a CC cream or BB cream that has a little bit of a light coverage. 
I do this just for that little extra and then it's also for me like a, a setting powder to set everything so that's what I've been using this for so many people I know had talked about the hard candy and this is the candlelit one these are supposed to be illuminating powders and the main complaint I always hear most people saying is there's really not much that comes off like that goes on your skin you just see like that like what you're seeing right there I'm rubbing both of them here you just see a very sh light sheen you know kind of effect honestly to me I have never tried the hourglass ambient powders I feel like this is probably what this does more than anything and I, I love them. I use them and I actually get a nice glow to my skin. The candlelight one's not the one I use because um, I, I have fair skin. So um, the darker ones, I don't know because I never got them because I just knew they wouldn't probably work for me. Um, I really like both of these. I use them both. I actually dip in both really and just put it all over on my face at the very end sometimes. And it gives me a nice uh, subtle, nice glow to my face or something you you just see this very faint glow honestly like i said i feel these are comparable i don't have the hourglass but i see people showing it swiping it and everything it says a universe flattering illuminating power duo it helps brighten the complexion and soft focus pearls to blur imperfections and light up your face see i think people are thinking that you use this as a highlight i really like the hard candy candlelit i think they're really worth it i really do they're drugstore kind of hourglass ambient power sort of to me so whether dupes i don't know one of the my favorite youtubers that i really like on here she doesn't just do beauty she does a little bit of everything she's silly she's goofy she's funny she has, i i think she has a great personality i would have to say she has she's like one of the best on here for just all around care love genuine she's real um she's just a really great person and that is Graveyard Girl. I did end up getting Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette and I was super glad I did. Tarte, I really like a lot of their products. Their palettes can be hit and miss for me, I'll be honest. They can be hit and miss for me. I can say I had used every single shade from this palette now. I've used every single shade, which sorry about the miri thing because that's the way the you know palettes made and everything you get the nine nine eyeshadows and then the highlight the blush the bronzer and, and honestly this is no joke it smells like to me it smells like the chocolate bar from Too Faced I actually smell cocoa in here seriously I can smell cocoa um the bottom row is more of a smoky look it does have some like more purpley mobs there and it's more of a smoky look that you get with it i had to work a little bit harder with these shades down here than i did any of the other ones i felt like i used the natural peach shade a lot for transition shades what i've been doing got nice looks with all of them the highlight though does have like chunky glitter um, so you have to be very, very light-handed. I mean, if you're somebody younger or you're, or you're into all that kind of stuff, I mean, you'll love it. Not that I don't love it. I think it's very pretty, but um, it's a very pretty highlight, very pretty. But when you put it on, you'll have to be careful because it can accentuate, you know, your pores or fine lines if you don't watch. So for some of us uh, older gals, We'll have you'd have to be careful just what i had to find out because first time i used it holy cow i felt like i was sparkling to the gods and i felt felt like you know my pores were saying hey here i am you know like you know like sparkling away i said no i just but i, I do think it's pretty blush is gorgeous very gorgeous shade really pretty is all their blushes very very pretty i love that shade uh, the bronzer works out fine for me. I was a little bit worried because it does have that orange tinge to it. I don't really always like the orange tinge, but um, it's been working out for me pretty good. I wouldn't say it's my favorite bronzer, 
but it's working out for me pretty good. So I, I do really love the palette though. I think it's really pretty. She did a great job um, and everything. So I'm so happy for her for that. And I'm so happy that I got it. And then lastly, this lipstick here, I've been using like crazy. I mean, I just, I see somebody showing a video of the Rimmel Nudes and I had bought this a good while ago. My shade's number 45. A little bit more deeper peachy nude. Really pretty. Love this shade. I probably might grab another one to have as a backup because I have a funny feeling because as much as I'm like really using it, I mean, I've been using this a lot and that's saying something because I have loads of lipsticks. I am a lipstick hoarder. I'll even admit it. And this one here is one of them colors that I keep grabbing for. It is such a perfect, nice, neutrally nude. Anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Join me each week. I have videos up every week. Um, mostly my what I'm liking and not so much are on Wednesdays. Also give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. That would help me out so much and I'd so much appreciate that. So, and always remember beauties, please remember, just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Thank you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.